So, friends, how does the practice affect the change in a man's obsessions or desires? For example, a man was obsessed with some kind of meal. Please, name any meal with which a person could be obsessed. Any. Okay, ice cream. Maybe some kind of special sort? No? Okay, ice cream it is. When a person sees ice cream, he says, I'm beginning to drool. I can almost feel its delicious taste. It could be chocolates, cakes, anything that cause a person to lose his vital energy. When the energy comes to the Manipura chakra, and if a person is only interested in the amount and the volume, he needs, for example, five ice cream cones. This is Manipura chakra at work. But if he is interested in the taste, then this means it's Svathistana chakra. And he will be experiencing joy from the taste. But you all know that after he eats some amount of portions of this ice cream, the feeling goes away. Only after some time he will experience this addiction, this feeling again. So, friends, it's all treated through practice. Because when the energy flows to Svathistana chakra and the taste will cause you to desire something, then, if with the help of practice you will be able to raise the level of your energy, then the desire, this obsession, will disappear. This is why people practice yoga. If you see monks or people in robes around us, not all of them are monks. Some can be ordinary people, dressed as them. Why do they practice these Tibetan prostrations? In Vedic culture, much earlier times than the Tibetan culture, these practices were called touching the ground with five body parts. So, they do it to raise the energy as high as possible, to break free from those obsessions and desires which they have gathered through their lives. Not only prostrations, any static practice, even meditation, allows the energy flow to go upwards. Many of you have already been on retreats. You probably noticed such a thing. When you even sit motionlessly, the energy somehow flows upwards to your head. Have you felt this? If anyone had this experience, please raise your hand. Why is this important? Because someone can hear this but not believe that it is possible. This is why I am asking. Please raise your hands. You see, almost half of the audience. This is not some kind of glitches or some notions. It's a real thing that a hoop-shaped energy thing is formed around your head and you can feel it as if you were wearing a hat. This is actually your vital energy that is streaming upwards to your head. And most importantly, if in the future you will practice and you will feel such an energy hat on your head, please notice that when your energy is at the top, you don't have any obsessions or any desires at the bottom. At this point, your perception of reality is tranquil. But, of course, if you are addicted to something, then probably you will be interested in this something again soon. But when the energy is at the top, it's like a pledge that your taste addictions or any other addiction will be less interesting. About this part that we 